Well, I put these corn stalks on here the other day and I didn't have my machete with me. So anyway, I'm going to chop these up a little bit because if you put this much bulk in one pile that deep, it is, it'll take a lot of extra time to uh, break it down and turn it into compost. So I'm going to whack on this a little bit because I got a lot of grass to cut. And uh, after I whack all this into smaller pieces, it'll be easier for it to break down. And I'll be able to put grass on it and maybe cover all of it. And I dug in this the other day down about six inches and it was composting big time. This is what I'll need next year. Anyway, I got to chop a while. Well, we're back at the compost pile many hours later. The sun's on my left shoulder. Earlier it was on my right shoulder. Uh, word to the wise, I wish I had my machete down here when I uh, pulled the corn because it was green and you'd go through it like butter with a machete. Uh, it laid on here for over a week and it dried out and after I chopped until I couldn't chop anymore, I didn't do very much to it, but uh, there was no way to chop that stuff up. The stalks got too hard and the machete was bouncing off of it. But anyway, I cut my yard and I cut my neighbor's yard and one cottage on the north side of us uh, just got sold and uh, the new owners uh, haven't got any furniture in the place and so I did them a good neighborly deed and cut their grass for them because they've got a push mower in three lots so it helped me because I needed the grass I needed to cover this and see I will put some more grass on it till we not cut much grass and then I will bring leaves from my home in trash cans and cover this whole thing with about six or eight inches of leaves and that's with all that will be needed for this to be compost next year anyway it's uh, covered from one end to the other and this is probably about uh, 28 feet long and maybe five feet wide 